and the star of Marvel's Black Panther, Michael B. Jordan. We are right next door from the Staples Center at the LA Convention Center as the NBA All-Star Weekend has officially begun. He was the MVP the last time the celebrity game was played in LA seven years ago. Has he gotten even better with age? Or will he be sorry he's even playing? Justin Bieber. Is this? A, oh, oh, but this is love, not not trash talk. Oh my God. Listen. Forever. Me, this dude right oh my here. God. My God. Okay. But you guys have different jerseys. You have different Forever. jerseys. You won MVP last time that the game was in LA. You haven't played since 2003, Jamie. Are you guys both aiming for MVP? I want him to have it. I've already got it. He already got it. It's Black History Month, so. It's Black History Month. I just feel like this is right. Black History Month. Black Panther, right. everything is just right. black. Everything is just right. African-American, right. you know. Right. Well, we, we've seen your athletic ability in, in several of your movies, but like I said, you haven't played this game since 2003. Are you ready? What have you done to prepare for this role? You know, I don't have to prepare. You know, I'm ready-made. All you got to do is add water. Right. So they're going to pour some water on me, and I'm ready to rock. Yes, you're well-versed in everything All-Star Weekend. Good luck to you. You have any last words? Uh, let's have some fun out there. Let's do it. I can't go eat with them, but everything is from start to finish throughout the day. I'm busy, so, you know, I'm looking forward to everything. I'm just embracing it all, you know, embracing what it's like to be an all-star. Justin Bieber with the baseline jump shot. Mark Jones courtside along with Washington Wizards first-time all-star Bradley Beal. Bradley, it has been an interesting year for your team. You guys have had a bunch of injuries. John Wall out with a knee procedure, yet... It's allowed you to become a little bit more of a, a, a rounded player in a sense, hasn't it? And how's that affected your game? What do you make of your placing despite the fact that you've had all those guys uh, go down, in particular John, with injuries? You know what? It's not bad. You know, we uh, we didn't get off to a great start like we wanted to, like everybody predicted us to. But people are watching them. You know, you get exposed a little bit. But I feel like they make the most out of it here. Nice. Joined by Al Horford of the Boston Celtics. Justin Bieber got a little sauce there on his dribble, but he lost the handle. Armstrong with the baseline jumper. Lakers trying to make a comeback. Bieber has been quiet here today. And right there with the layup, Justin Bieber with his second field goal. He's got four. Yeah, she's shooting it real well. I tell you what, Nate Robinson's working that four-point shot pretty well, too. He knows he's got basketball savvy. Yep. He understands the math problem, Mark. Did all that, got the win without Jamie Foxx doing a, doing a lot of scoring here today. But he kept the troops' morale up. Yeah, he did, he did. You know, he, he's, he's good for entertainment, man. I don't Paul, know. it's been a slice. Hey, it's always Thanks, good to Bob. see you, Mark. Always. Congratulations on uh, being a great host here, too. All right, you guys. All-Star Weekend. All right.